good evening everybody how's everybody doing um the adv newsreel part two um after watching last night's video i realized there was a teeny tiny problem and the problem is me i talk too much so this time instead of doing this long long intro i decided to just skip all of that and take you straight to the video clips from around the world so without any further ado here we go this is what's happening in the world with writers right now Hi there, this is Rafael Chaparro from France and Ecuador and we are right now in Argentina. So we kind of stuck because of the coronavirus and the thing is all the way down to, to Ushuaia was okay but on the way back they start closing borders and day by day things are changing and getting tough in a way like uh, close, the closing uh, towns and roads lots of uh, province borders, they're doing checks, and as I've, I heard, like if you are a foreigner, they just stop you and you have to go in quarantine sometimes, or they just test you, they do a lot of troubles, and I heard like a lot of bad stories about people getting a bit, a lot, paranoid and schizophrenic about that, like that's crazy, because in one way, you can see, life keeps going right here, that's a supermarket and people are just doing like if nothing happened and in the same way they're getting crazy about different subjects about having foreigners just nearby calling the police I heard a lot of stories so I'm right here so far and things are doing fine so I say hi to all the travelers all the people on the road living that situation and everybody at home I hope you all are safe and all the travelers I say Keep quiet, the trip will keep going soon. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, it's Tracy Charles, and I left Canada in September to start my round-the-world trip, and I'm currently stuck in Colombia. Uh, somebody else had mentioned that the locals are viewing the foreigners with a lot of suspicion, and, and they're absolutely correct. I was in Finlandia a couple of days ago, uh, rode up to Cali, was forced into quarantine by a corrupt uh, hostel owner, got out of that and headed back to Finlandia to Steel Horse of Columbia who kindly reopened their doors for stranded travelers and I got stopped at a roadblock uh, before Finlandia and they called the mayor, they, they weren't letting me anywhere near this place even though it's two kilometers away from town. So I set my sleeping bag up beside my bike and prepared to spend the night, had a couple of beers, and then when it got dark, the cops that were still there came up to me and told me to go, just go, just get going. So with a couple of beers under my belt, which I never do, and I never ride in the dark, I have made it here to Steel Horse of Columbia. Um, beautiful place to spend a couple of weeks while hopefully things quiet down. I don't know what my plans are right now. I'm a little bit pissed off that the airlines are gouging people, uh, the prices that they are to get home. So yeah, I'm just gonna ride this out for a couple of weeks and see what happens. Egle, thank you so much for doing this. It makes me feel not so alone out here. Everybody stay safe. Uh, hey, from Santiago, everyone. Um, I arrived here last night. I actually had an easier time getting through and out of the airport than I thought. It was nearly deserted, which was a bit of a surprise. Of course, I was also in the domestic terminal. Um, at the moment, I am waiting on word from the shipping company I'll be using as to exactly when we can get my bike sent back to the U.S. Uh, the problem being that most of the U.S. carriers are suspending service from Chile within the next week to two weeks. Um, so my options for actually leaving may be very limited. Um, right now we're just playing the waiting game. Uh, Santiago is much quieter than I'm used to. There are far fewer people on the streets, I've noticed. Um, but other than that, things are pretty calm. Uh, they are in a state of public health emergency. All borders are closed. Uh, the president has some uh, additional powers, as it were that uh, to enforce things like curfews, mandatory quarantines, and all that, so just like the rest of you, everything's kind of still up in the air here, um, but I hope everyone else is managing well, and it's been really nice to hear everyone's stories and 
to see how we're all handling this crazy time. I uh, hope everyone keeps it up. Hey, this is Anna from Feel the World. Uh, I'm currently in Mexico, um, 20 minutes from border with Tijuana, and I'm trying to figure out what to do. Um, for now, my plan is to stay here and see what will happen. I was analyzing during the last few days tons of options what to do, including the flying back home, um, entering US or staying over here. Um, I don't want to leave my bike behind. Uh, it's connected with the um, paperwork as well. So uh, when I've got like the temporary import in um, Mexico, if I will leave it without resolving this, I will get some big fees uh, when I will, buy, will be back. The same is with the US, I cannot leave the country without the bike. So now I'm checking different options, whether I can ship the bike, uh, but those will be like plans B, C, D. Uh, plan A is to stay here and see what will happen. Um, my visa expires in Mexico in uh, June, so I've got some time to, to observe the situation and we'll see. So guys, keep, he keep healthy, uh, keep safe, and hopefully we'll see each other on the road soon. Hey, this is Ben from Dual Sport Dude. I'm in Utah in the United States. Um, for riding, I am not going to be doing any, any in the near future. Uh, bikes are parked now. Um, last thing I need to do is get out and bust my ass and then take uh, resources away from people that uh, need them more than I do. Uh, so kind of take a preventive approach. You can see in the background I've got boxes here. Uh, I've got some new tires that showed up. And I'm just putting them out here in the garage from quarantine for a few days. Um, <clears throat> Just to, just to make sure uh, here that a lot of people still aren't taking this real and are for real. Uh, a lot of people out still doing things. Um, businesses are closing here. People are losing their jobs. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to work from home right now, uh, but that's not the case for everyone. Um, I'm wishing you all the best and uh, please take care. Hey everybody, I'm Kate. And I'm Sam. We are from Taos, New Mexico, and we have been on the road for... Five months and 15,000 kilometers heading south to Panama. On a very circuitous route, which has been wonderful. Um, we made it as far as a t an Antigua, I can't even say that, Antigua, Guatemala, where we were two days ago, and everything changed. We heard that all the borders, were, many of the borders were starting to shut down. Honduras, El Salvador, Panama, et cetera, uh, et cetera. they were all shutting the border down, so we made the ex executive decision to turn around and head back north to here. Yeah, so, yeah, we had to turn the ship around because of logistics. We are in San Cristobal de las Casas now and figuring it all out from here. So, um, here we all are. The great news is adventure motorcycling right out of the gate creates great social distancing. Helmet, protective gear, we're on our own, so we're ahead of the game, people. <laughs> Good luck out there. Yeah, be safe, be clean, wash your hands a lot. Uh, hi everyone, greetings from Scotland. My name's Gary. Uh, I have a 2019 R1200 GS Adventure. Um, it's my third such bike, having come off a ZZR1400, so a bit of a change in riding style. Um, I've done all kinds of, uh, I usually do two trips a year across Europe from Scotland. Um, I've done Nordcap, which was 6,000 miles. Went around the, the entire coast of Spain and Portugal and right up the Riviera into Italy, which is about another 5,500 miles. Um, was supposed to go to Bavaria and Austria this year and down to Greece later on in the year. Not sure if I'll be able to do that now, the way things are looking. Uh, it's all a bit crazy. Um, so I'm hoping to try and get some miles in later. I'm not too sure what to think of the current situation. Hope everyone is safe uh, and get back from where you are. Uh, keep the rubber side down, folks. Peace and love from Scotland. My name is João. I'm Portuguese. I'm currently back home in Madeira and in lockdown for at least 15 days. Three days ago, I was in South America riding my DR650 from Ushuaia to where I hoped to the US. Um, this was the third stage of my round the world trip after crossing Europe and going down uh, the east coast of Africa. I was in San Pedro de Atacama, the north of Chile, uh, when I read 
that Colombia closed their borders with Panama and Ecuador, so I figured all the countries will do the same and this will be for a long time. So I just left my bike with a guy from a tourism agency. I don't know if I'll see it again. And, and I ran to the closest airport in Kalama and I took four flights, 44 hours to get back home. Unfortunately, other riders are still there and they cannot uh, move. People don't want to rent rooms to them because they fear they have the virus as they are foreigners. It's a very complicated situation. Stay safe, stay home. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, David Mays here. I am traveling from um, back toward Chattanooga, Tennessee. I am from, um, I went out to Phoenix, Arizona, uh, meandered my way back and, and heading back. So um, a few things that I'm dealing with uh, along my journey uh, due to the coronavirus uh, issue. Uh, what I've noticed most uh, is a lack of awareness, a lack of, of true concern um, from restaurant people, from uh, grocery store workers, you name it. Uh, it's, it's been interesting because they either are not aware of it or if they are, it's so casual that they just don't really, it's not, it's not hitting home. Um, and so in other words, they're not wearing gloves. I don't see hand sanitation, stuff like that. At least that's what I've seen across, um, as I've come across. Now, I'm here at I'm, um, a dealership getting a new tire because my tire was toast. And, um, oh, sorry about that. And so I'm trying to get that done. Um, doing my best. I'm in Houston, Texas right now. I'm doing my best to get on back um, to Chattanooga the next couple days. Uh, the, uh, the other issue that I've been seeing is it's getting harder and harder to get uh, restaurants. Um, the, depending on where you're at, uh, they're either closing early, they're not open at all, uh, or uh, the, it's just the times, or you have to stand outside and eat because they've, they've got the in, inside dining shut off. Uh, on the flip side, other locations have been balls the walls like nothing's happened. So it's really bizarre uh, from that perspective that you're seeing such a different, uh, a, di a different take depending on where in the country that you are and, and how they're accepting it. So anyway, safe, stay safe out there guys. And uh, Aglo, thanks for doing this. Bye. What up, what up? Much love from Istanbul, Turkey. We just got back from the grocery store. Life is good. Got more meat, got more vegetables, got some more rice. We got plenty of water. Uh, not gonna lie, the restaurants are closed, but you can still order from the restaurants. You can still go out on the bike. It's no quarantine action where people are with guns forcing you in the house or anything like that, like some of my other friends in other countries are talking about. But here in Turkey, it's still easy going. Borders are still open. Uh, Georgia's closed their borders, apparently, uh, for the next three weeks. I understand Russia did the same until May 1st. But, you know, like, my plan was to be here in Turkey for know, at least two months, probably till the middle of May to meet some more friends. Life's good. It's too easy here. Um, we got some good food. We got some good beers. And uh, life's pretty okay. When it all goes bad, it didn't go as bad as it could have. Enjoy the zombie apocalypse wherever you are. Be wild. Stay safe. Wash your hands, my friends. See you guys. All right, you guys, this is it for tonight. Please tune in um, again tomorrow morning. I have a couple of longer um, interviews with Nate um, and Flora from Italy. Nate is currently in Istanbul, Turkey. Flora is in Italy. And I also have a scheduled interview with Kinga. You know her as on her bike on Instagram and YouTube. So yeah, as always, longer interview tomorrow morning and for tonight. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for sending in your stories. Please keep doing that. Let's, let's keep doing this. Let's stay connected. See you tomorrow.